y'all it's T and welcome back to tea time in this video I will be showing you guys a tour of our baby girls nursery if you are watching this video I have just given birth so her name and everything else will be revealed in this video all right so this door over to the left is actually her bathroom I have not really decorated that or anything it really doesn't need to be decorated right now but that is her bathroom that double door right there is our bedroom and then this door right here is her nursery so without further ado let's go in okay so as soon as you walk in to her nursery it's kind of like a wall of maternity pictures and i'll show each one that i have up here that's one of them this is another which is my absolute favorite this is the silhouette picture and then this is another one and these are actually acrylic prints they look like glass but they are acrylic i will put the link in the description box to the company that my husband used to get these pictures printed out but the pictures were taken by my husband all right so i'm going to back up and it's kind of like a little hallway leading into her room and right here i have just a little basket that's going to be for her dirty laundry i got this from ross for like what 5.99 very inexpensive and the um pink went along with everything that's in here all right, and then starting up here on her dresser, which was a thrifted piece that we found. Well, not really thrifted, but we found this on um, Facebook Market, and it was actually, and it was actually um, like eighty-five dollars. So what we did, and I'll post a before picture, what we did was we painted it white and then we um, came in and put knobs on that we ordered from Amazon. All right, so and in the dresser, I'll show you a little bit of how I have it organized. These little containers I found from Walmart. I wanted to um, use these i purchased these last year had no idea what i was going to do with them but they are perfect for her clothes and towels and things like that so up here is just like her bath towels burp cloths washcloths and in this drawer right here is just like her little um turbans or little hats and then they have like bowls on the front these are like her regular bowls her socks a few more um dressier bowls and then some shoes are in there and then the next one is just some receiving blankets a few bibs um full sleepers gowns and then this is um bassinet sheets and here is just like random stuff I have my nose Frida in here, her Derma Frida, some um, nipple cream, gas drops, thermometers, um, Desitin, Tylenol, just some odds and ends in there. And then in this drawer is her um, undershirt, a onesie drawer. It's a whole bunch of um, t-shirts in here. And then what do I have down here oh this is um an extra cover for that this is her um carrier it's like a the one that you wrap around you this is like a um, car seat cover or a nursing cover and this is just another blanket and then in here I have some extra blankets um, another boppy pillow cover some extra onesies and then a blanket so yeah that is her drawer organization system that I came up with and these knobs were from Amazon and they're like um, crystal or acrylic and then rose gold on the back 
All right, so again, this dresser was from um, Facebook Market. We paid $85 for it. My husband painted it white, and then we added the knobs. All right, and then up here is like her little changing station going on. It's just a little um, changing pad, and then a cover that I purchased from Amazon. And then over here is just her changing station. We have a white warmer up top, diapers, comb and brush set. Um, her thermometer is over here. And then just some lotion. Some sleepy time lotion. And then some regular lotion. And then we went on and we added in the TV in here which will be beneficial to me while i'm in here nursing and doing things that i need to do i can play her some music if i needed to or watch some tv all right and then over here in the corner i have my rocker if you saw my baby haul video previously i purchased this rocker from walmart it was on clearance for like i think like 109 or something like that very inexpensive the pillow actually came from walmart as well it was on clearance for nine dollars it's kind of like a rose gold color and then this blanket it's a pretty sizable blanket um i'm actually going to take this to the hospital with me but i just have it in here still for the video i purchased the blanket from ross so that'll be like my little throw blanket while i'm in here nursing or doing whatever i need to do in here all right and then Right here, over here in this corner, is her little side table. And then at the bottom is a little basket that I found at Ross. And then her books are in here. And then the side table was thrifted as well. Um, it's $15. We painted that white and then put it in this room. And side note, we chose to thrift the furniture in here we didn't have to but we chose to based on what we were seeing online we really didn't find anything that we really wanted so we chose to thrift it and then put our own little touch on it all right which is a good idea because this baby stuff like cribs and things like that they're not going to use it long and then you're going to be buying big girl furniture or big kid furniture so it's you know just throwing that idea out there if you are interested in that all right so on top top of her side table is a 4d or a 3d ultrasound picture of her you see it a little bit better and then this little mirror um not mirror lamp i found at ross on clearance for like 15 dollars. all right and then i'm gonna back up so you can see the curtains these curtains were found at home goods i had an idea of the curtains that i wanted because i had already purchased her crib skirt so i knew i wanted um a sheer overlay over the curtains so i went into home goods not expecting to find them and the curtains were just like it was just only one pair the length that i need and everything so it worked out perfectly and this is a close-up has like some rhinestone stone detailing on it. This is the sheer overlay. And then this is the pink under. All right. And this piece right here is not going to stay in here. But I wanted to leave it in here just to tell you about it. This um, cradle is actually going to go in our master bedroom. But this was also thrifted as well. If you did not see my thrifted baby haul. I watched this at my local thrift store for weeks. It started out at like $40. And I'm like, um, I'm not paying $40 for that. So I watched it and watched it and watched it. And it finally got dropped down to $10. All right, $10. So we painted it white. And I found the little mattress from Amazon. And then this is just a blanket that I found at Ross. All right, so it came out pretty good. And I am going to back up to show you the area rug. This area rug came from Ross. It was, 
I think $40. Yeah, it was about $40. And it's kind of like a rose gold color. The same color as the pillow over there. So, yeah. Ross has really been the hookup. Like, I've pretty much found all of my rugs that I have in my house from Ross. Like, they have been a blessing. All right. So, moving up. Here is her chandelier. It is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how it looks on camera, but the camera doesn't know justice. It's so pretty. Um, I purchased this from Pottery Barn Kids. All right. And it was about $200. Like, I couldn't find anything else that I liked. Couldn't find a discount on it, but I had to have the chandelier. So, I purchased it for $200. All right, so Pottery Barn Kids for that. Link will be in the description box. All right, and the last furniture piece in the bedroom was also thrifted as well. If you saw my thrifted um, baby haul video once again, this was in the first video, I believe, and it is her crib. This crib, I kid you not, is online right now for like $340, I believe. My husband found it at Goodwill for $20 bucks he was in there looking for a shelf or something else came across the crib 20 bucks bought it brought it home sanded it down painted it put the same knobs on the crib to match the dresser from amazon all right and that will be linked in the description box as well the knobs all right so that came out extremely well and then over here in the drawers, I just have like some random stuff, like stuff that I got from um, baby registry bags. Like if I need to carry like a little small container of wipes or diapers or something like that, that's there. And then here, more stuff from baby bags. These are baby shower cards and gift cards. And then down here, it's just like some more stuff from the baby bags and some milk samples and some things like that different odds and ends in there all right and that's what i have there inside of her crib this is the crib sheet that i picked up from target perfect because she is definitely a rainbow baby so we have um this crib sheet from target and then on top is kind of like her comforter and I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's an actual unicorn on, like, stitched into the comforter. This came from Kohl's. Hopefully, it's still available, and I can link it in the description box. And this little unicorn right here, I forgot to mention it. It came from CVS. It was like a dollar and some change from CVS. All right, her crib skirt. It's like a ruffle, like a three-layer ruffle. That also came from Kohl's as well. All right. And above the crib is her name. Her name is Victory for various, various reasons. If you know me personally, you know the story behind her name. But this name is so fitting for her. Oh, my goodness. It's so fitting. But, yes, um... Victory is her name. Her middle name is Rose, so Victory Rose. And then um, my coworker, my one of my old coworkers, made this um, wooden sign for us. And then I purchased the flowers from Amazon. I was actually going to purchase the same exact flowers from Etsy, but FYI, always check Amazon because I guarantee you Amazon has exactly what you're looking for. I saved a hundred bucks by purchase purchasing it from amazon each set was only like thirty dollars and i got two sets to go on either side of her name all right and moving on over here if you saw my last baby haul video well not the last one the one before the last this was in there as well and this is the dream on me baby positioner not positioner or like a baby um sleeper co-sleeper so you can use this in your bed or whatever regular price is $60 I purchased it on Facebook market for 15 bucks it's already been washed twice 
and bleach and all of that stuff and then washed again in baby laundry detergent all right so moving into her closet and y'all she got a lot of stuff up in here the majority of her stuff is diapers and wipes though because if you don't know i am an extreme couponer so i get a lot of deals on diapers and wipes all of this stuff was purchased by me with the exception of like one pack because i told my guests do not buy me any diapers or wipes well with the exception of maybe about four packs but i purchased the rest of it now it's gonna stay like this for now because she has a good bit of clothes but it's not a lot of clothes for me to move all her diapers from here and put it down here and put her clothes in the middle because i need more space in the middle and it is more space to store the diapers all right so starting up at the top we have diapers and training pants and some swim pants as well starting in the middle we have diapers wipes and what's that a couple of bottles some random bottles and then at the bottom we have all of her clothing like some bibs some stuff like that is thrown in there and then some nursing supplies some big boxes of diapers and wipes um that is like a little booster seat that right there is like a little um milestone blanket and set up get up and stuff like that bottles that i need to sterilize and then another diaper bag some books some little um baby soothers that's one right there and then here is another one and then over here some more wipes some more bottles and then my breast pumps and other breast um feeding supplies and there's a blanket with a little neck pillow over there some washcloths a little changing pad and i think that's about it just some random little odds and ends up under there but this is her closet it is almost packed to capacity y'all but when she's here these diapers are just going to start dwindling down all right so that is her closet and then last but not least is this wall right here that's on the way out up above um if you follow me on instagram you saw this picture in my pregnancy announcement post um it's a picture that i found at ross for maybe like four dollars four or five dollars and she is a rainbow baby so it is very fitting for this room and then right here there is a scripture picture that i found at burlington um it was in one of my baby haul videos the frame was black but i had my husband to paint it white and right behind this picture on the beams in this room we have the same exact scripture like we went through the house and wrote scriptures on the wall as before they put up the drywall and we wrote this same scripture right behind this wall all right so that was pretty good that we found this picture all right and then we are back where we started y'all so that is her nursery tour i hope you guys enjoyed it or and liked it um once again that cradle is going to come out so it won't be as crowded in here so yeah that is pretty much it if you guys have any questions about anything that you have seen in this video please put them down in the comment section remember to like comment subscribe and follow me over on instagram thank you guys so much for watching